Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome in general. Welcome to my bubble. It's thrown it out there that I don't actually know where I'm going with this video. Just kind of winging it to be honest. First, let's get this out of the way. I have like dark brown, black kind of hair again. I dyed it like a week ago. In the last few videos I had blonde hair so let's just get that out of the way. It'll look better when I don't have it tied up. I want to make this video today because lately I've been suffering bad with my anxiety and depression and I just want to be as transparent and honest as possible because I feel like that's the only way that I'll be able to help myself is by just being open about it. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I've just felt myself lately starting to like as I'm suffering bad with it again, I just feel like I'm I'm not talking about it again. And I'm starting to like like even if I would get up the guts to talk to people about it in Ireland and even all over the world, it's such like a, a taboo topic to talk about that like no one really knows how to talk about it. Like even when I would get up the cur the courage to talk to someone about it, I feel like they just don't know what to say. Which makes you retreat back into yourself more. Is retreat a word? Retract into yourself? I don't know. But like it just makes you feel like you go back inside yourself more and you're like, that didn't work out. I'm not talking to anybody about it again. Which is not good. Is this light not a bit arseways? Because I just feel like if you don't talk about something and if you don't just like get all your feelings out, they're just kind of stuck inside you, floating around, getting worse. So how am I ever supposed to grow and w with my mental health and like learn how to control it and my triggers and stuff if I don't even know how to talk about it in the first place. Like I hate that it's such a taboo topic. It's the most frustrating thing ever. Like you just feel like either people think you're crazy, people think you're making it up because you just don't want to do something or most people just think you're lazy because like you like cancel plans last minute, you don't want to go to family events you don't want to even leave your house. Like, I just don't like being around people. Sometimes I even struggle to, like, talk to my family about things. Like, even my mum and dad. Like, like, it's not an easy thing to deal with. It's not at all. So, because I can't do anything for myself, I feel like, why not make a video spreading awareness of mental health? Because, let's face it, I'm not the only one suffering. But nobody talks about it, which is so, like, I can't wrap my head around the fact that no one talks about it when it's such an important, fragile thing. Like, so many people take their own lives each year from mental health. It's scary. Yeah, I basically just want to spread awareness to it. Like, if you suffer with anxiety, depression, any mental health, OCD, I don't know, anything, anything at all, anything that falls under the umbrella of mental health, that is completely fine, you are normal, you, you can do it, it's so, so hard, but I know you can do it, some days I even have to tell myself that, I'm like Leanne, you can do it, and I'm like, I don't even think I can get out of bed today, like, it's not fun, it sucks, and I know, I understand, but I feel like the best thing you can do is just be honest with yourself. Try your hardest and that's all you can do, really. I just want to like talk about it. Just be, be transparent because I feel like I've been hiding out lately and I haven't been doing YouTube videos because I haven't even, had, haven't even had the confidence to talk to a camera, let alone anybody else. Which isn't good. So this might even be my therapy for me. I'll just wreck your guys' heads. Maybe I'll be good therapy for my soul. <laughs> I just want to spread awareness about it and say to people that it's completely fine. If you're suffering, that's okay. You are normal. You will get through it. If you don't feel like you can get through it as of now, that's okay. Because everybody has bad days. Even people who don't suffer with mental health have bad days. If you're out there and if you feel like you're just kind of like going back into yourself the way I have been the past few days. And if you don't have the courage to maybe make a video about it, which I don't know why I'm doing this. I'll probably regret this. 
soon. <laughs> talk to someone about it. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. Talk to someone about it. If you can't talk to a family member, talk to a friend. If you can't talk to a friend, talk to an acquaintance. If you feel like they won't judge you that much. But then again, if you feel like you can't trust them, don't talk to them. Just try and talk to someone. And if you can't find anybody to talk to, feel free to talk to me. Message me on Instagram or my Twitter. My links are down in the description. You can get a hold of me some way. If you're suffering and if you feel like you have no one to talk to, message me. Do not suffer alone. It's the worst thing you can do because you just get lost inside your head and that's not a safe place to be when you're suffering. Talk to someone, message me. And just remember that it's com you're completely fine. It's completely normal. And yeah, I hope this video doesn't trigger anybody. Like, I'm trying to be as positive as I can right now, but... Like, I'm so sorry if I actually... Like, if you're suffering as well and this is triggering, or if you just got over a bad patch and now you're like, oh shit. So feel free to click off. If this video is, like, triggering or anything in at any time, like, just X out of it. It's not worth... I, I don't want to put someone back into a bad state. I'm trying to, like, help and just talk about it. And... I don't know. I hope you can just understand that. Like, don't just look at it for the sake of looking at it. Like, please just X out. I don't want to make anybody feel worse than they already do. But I just hope that I'm... I want to try help people. I want... I want to be that someone... For people who I wish there was for me. If I explain that, okay? So... I don't know what I'm doing today. Just putting it out there, it won't be much, so don't judge me. I'm just trying to be transparent as possible. I'm just doing me, so you do you. If you don't like what I'm doing, exit my video, get off my channel, that's completely fine. I just want people to watch me who actually understand me and support what I'm doing. So, yeah. It is so sunny out today. Ireland is in the middle of a heat wave, so... It is, let me check the temperature, is, how the hell do you read this temperature? Is that the 20 line? So 21, 2, 3, 4, 20, 25 degrees, if I read that correctly. I don't know how to read temperatures. <laughs> Music that I've been addicted to lately is Shawn Mendes. <laughs> I guess it's Shawn Mendes' new album. Um, it's actually just titled Shawn Mendes. It is amazing. Nervous is an amazing song. Lost in Japan is an amazing song. I think there's a song called like Mutual. There's a song called. There's just like go listen to it. He's really good. He's coming. To um, he's coming to Dublin. <laughs> Go see in the corner. I'm just gonna leave her there in the corner. Me, 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 me. Guess, guess, look. <laughs> She's like, what is going on? But yeah, he's coming to Dublin next next year. He's coming to Dublin next year, and I wish I had tickets. I went on Ticketmaster and looked for tickets. Ninety six euro a ticket. 96? He's 19 years old. Why does he need 96 euro for a ticket? I mean, I suppose fair play to him. If I could, if I could do a gig and if I could charge people 96 euro to come see me for like an hour and a half, I suppose I would. But at the same time, I think that's the most expensive gig I've ever, ever, ever came across. <clears throat> like I went to see Pink in concert a few weeks, a few weeks ago, a few years ago. 
And I remember like her tickets were always like like eighty euro, eighty five euro. But that was because like she puts on like a whole act. Like she puts on like harnesses and like flies in the air. Like if you have never seen Pink Live, go see Pink Live. She is amazing. Best concert like ever. Whereas Shawn Mendes is charging ninety six euro for a ticket and like like I love the guy and all, but he won't be in a harness flying around the air. He'll more than likely just be on stage with his guitar. Like obviously I'd love to go see him. But I won't be able to afford him with 96 euro, which sucks. But maybe if I start saving, I'll get to go see him next time. He probably won't be back for like another like at least two years. Because like how, how long is it going to take him to make another album? Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked and I'm blabbing now. If you haven't listened to Shawn Mendes, go listen to Shawn Mendes. <gasps> My water. Milk. But no, I've started filling up my bottle of water and then like leaving it in the fridge. <laughs> Baldic, not sponsored. Baldic, feel free to message me and sponsor this video. I'd love that. <laughs> Imagine. Or the milk. <laughs> Shout out to Aldi if you want to sponsor me. <laughs> oh, imagine. That would be amazing. I'd actually love if Aldi, like, I shop in Aldi all the time. It's amazing. In my opinion, it's the best shop going. Because, like, it's cheap, it's cheerful. But they literally have everything you'd get in Super Value or, like, Tesco's anyway. So, like, who need, who does be needing them shops? Ooh, that is cold. Colder water is actually better for you because your body has to work harder to fight the coldness of the water and get the water back up to your body temperature. So, and it speeds up your metabolism. So, if you can, if you can, drink all water. Oh my god, I forgot. I made iced coffee. That's my new thing. I make at home iced coffee. I just put a shitload of coffee in this, brew it with hot water, leave it overnight. When it gets to room temperature, I put it in the fridge, and then I drink it throughout the week, because I googled how long can you keep, like, cold coffee in the fridge for, and it said, like, a week or two before it starts, like, kind of not tasting good. Like, coffee can't go off, obviously. Kessie, do you like when I vlog? Do you? She's like, no. Wait, Kessie, come here. Kessie, sit. 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 Kessie, if you like if I vlog, you have to give me a high five, okay? Do you like if I vlog? High five. Oh, Kessie, that was kind of a high five. Good girl. I'm gonna take that as yes. So what drink will I have? Obviously I'm gonna sip on my water because I need to drink like three liters. One of these is like 1.5. So I try and drink two of these. I say I'll be able to do that. I will be able to do that. But should I have the rest of my coffee? Although coffee isn't good when you're feeling anxious. But then again, that hasn't stopped me the past few days. Just because it's been so hot out in Ireland. And I've just been obsessed with having cold coffees. Oh my god, will I show you how I make it? Do you know what? Actually, that's funny. I'll show you how I make it. I have... Yeah, this will be funny. See, I have this. This is an old Yankee candle jar. It still has, like, a weird sticker on the bottom that I can't get off. But yeah, isn't it lovely? And I was about to dump this. Oh, it's a bit... It has droplets marked on it. But it's clean. I put it in the dishwasher last night, so it's clean. Let me show you how I make my iced coffee. <gasps> Look at me getting excited over this. Like... This is my life. I get excited over, like, iced coffee. <laughs> oh, I have four ice cubes left. I'll use these. Ooh. I can never get the last one out. It annoys me how it just gets stuck in the top of, like, the ice bag. It's so annoying. I always try and get it out. Most times I succeed. Got one out. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, second one out. So you can see it there. Ooh, that's a good shot. I'm just thinking, I so could have made this a separate video of like how I make my iced coffee. I'll do that some other time. I might as well just finish it, even though it's a lot of coffee, but. Whatever. Get a little stir. God, that actually is a lot of coffee. Shit. <laughs> It'll be okay. And then I spill the rest of the milk, which is probably really bad, but it'd be nice. Mm. 
Yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got coffee in my tummy. Oh, sorry. I'm going to be blocking the camera. Pretty. Pretty. Taste test. Mm. It's actually not as strong as I thought it was going to be. That is nice. I'm just going to top it up with the... Some cocoa milk. Just because I don't want to literally be buzzing all day. I'll drink it slowly, obviously, because that was like a good cup of the coffee. <laughs> what will I eat? I'm not really hungry. I might just eat maybe like in... In like a few minutes. Put the banya back. Okay, I think that's all I have to say for this morning because I think I got my point across about spreading awareness and just telling you guys where I am. So until next time, just remember to mind yourself, stay positive, stay happy, you do you. And thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.